Facebook and Twitter at oh, so okay. It's Valentine's Day every day at your house. Come <laughs> yeah, on, something Kate. Something like that. Something like yeah, that. Yeah. All right. Thanks for that reminder. You bet. You know, you don't have to go the traditional route when it comes to Valentine's Day. Casey Lund explains how you can give the gift of flight instead of chocolate. When I first met Alan Bly, he inspired me. A man that worked his entire life in corporate America, he woke up one day and realized he hated it. Sleeping in my own bed twice a month, and uh, I said to heck with it, decided I want to be a helicopter pilot. That was 10 years ago, quit my job in San Francisco, moved back to Spokane, went to flight school. That was two years ago, when Bly first launched White Rabbit Helitours with his first helicopter. While I was certainly inspired, I worried about Alan. He took quite a risk, but last year I was relieved to see my new friend doing well. White Rabbit bought a new toy. White Rabbit's still able to take you just about anywhere you want to go here in the inland northwest, but with this new ship and the setup they have with two sets of controls, they can give just about anyone a lesson. And that includes me. This machine's great because uh, we can sit two, two passengers in it for tours, so me plus two. Or, or we can reconfigure the cockpit, put the dual controls in, and set it up for me plus a student. He knows the thought of getting your private pilot's license sounds like a financially unattainable goal, but you might be surprised how affordable he can make it. Still keeps flight instruction relatively affordable for people. It's an expensive proposition anyway, and this lets us do tours and still make flight instruction affordable for, for a lot of people. We flew to Deer Park and he walked me through an hour lesson. We have other people that are more career oriented. They're on a career track and they come in and say, hey, I want to go fly for life flight uh, someday. Becoming a helicopter pilot isn't my life stream. Still, I was blown away by the experience. They're on the controls, they're flying, um, so they get that that same sense of awe and wonder, but now they're doing it themselves, and when, when you see the reaction that people get, especially after you land and it all sort of processes for them, that grin they get and, and the excitement that they express is just amazing. If you or someone you know dreams of flying, it's worth at least talking with this aviator. You can find Alan online. Just look for this story in the news link section of KXLY.com. Reporting at Feltz Field, Casey Lund, KXLY 4 News.